So we have Ares, but we also have Susano. He's first on the patch notes list, so we should probably yeah, go in order go and, and switch to Susano. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about Susano. So, um, Pawn, you just want to do the usual, let's do this, like, just a kit, kit demo, just like, Oops. just... I have the, we actually have a bug in dev right now, so I think I actually have to relaunch. Let me let me see if I can fix this in real time, real quick. Uh, oh, this, yeah, this is not in the alpha build that y'all are about right, to play. Yeah. This is, we're in a future build already here, so we, we encountered yeah, well, it. Well, while Pawn's getting ready, talk to just a little bit about how Susano made his way into Smite and kind of the approach for Susano. Well, th there's a lot of hype around this guy, oh, right? Yeah. Like... One of the fastest, flashiest, uh, you know, often high skill ceiling god. Mm -hmm. um, although, you know, even mediocre Susanos can be a, can be a pain for you sometimes. But a lot going on with this character. A lot of a lot of people were excited to, to see him come to the game. He also kind of limit tests the game. Mm -hmm. Susano has a little bit of everything. Yes, and more than a little bit of some things. Maybe more than he should have. Right. right? Um, historically, a god that has always had a lot of um, polarizing balance perceptions. He's got really good damage, really good mobility, really good C re really good CZ. He's kind of got it all, right? Mm -hmm. So trying to balance a god like that is a challenge, and we wanted to bring him in early to Smite 2 to really help explore the limit testing of pushing how many features uh, a kit can have, yeah. right? Susano is up there at the tippity top. Oh, yeah. So when we were thinking about porting him over to Smite 2, that was one thing that was really important and something we really um, you know, planned around. The other one was muscle memory. Yeah. Susano is like an extreme muscle memory, um, absolutely amazing kit flow character. Yeah, we we can didn't want to disrupt now. that. Yeah. So because of those two things, that kind of spells out where I'm going here, which is like we didn't want to change him too intensely. If we change his ability in any way that could disrupt the whole kit flow, that like even if it's a new thing added to the ability presses, it could make the kit flow differently and could throw off the muscle memory, could feel frustrating to opponents, etc. So his um, one through four are mostly unchanged. They're really flashy. They're really cool. They're really smooth, fast. A lot of you know like the gener general general uh, improvements you have on Smite Two, um, and a couple like quality of life features. The big change here is the passive. He's got a completely new passive, um, which I think the passive is really cool here. Um, it's called Storm's Edge, and it's whenever you use an ability, your next basic attack will debuff the enemy hit. So it effectively rewards you for in-hand canceling, yep. and it stacks. Um, so this is a kind of a new type of debuffing stacks that instead of just stacking the same effect many, many times, it actually stacks on different effects. So when you hit them with two stacks, they have reduced strength. But when you have three to four stacks, they have reduced strengths and are slowed. And when they have five to six stacks, they have reduced strength and are slowed and are take take increased damage. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's really like if you fully in-hand cancel throughout the whole kit, you can stack it up. But it's kind of hard to do that unless you really hit everything. Yep. And if this character is still alive after all that, they will have to live through the debuffs that the Susano has left on that. And let your team clean up on right. the debuff target. And this also has a new HUD element only visible to Susano that shows him how many passive stacks he's applied to the um, target gods. Which we just saw a minute ago. I mean, I think it went away on that Ymir when... Um, yeah, the Ymir bots will sometimes behave strangely with these elements. You can see there they disappear because the other one is respawning. Mm, yeah. Um, but we did see it a few times. I, I was able to stack it up to six times. You could see that there was that stack counter that showed you all the various stacks that you got. Yep. Right. One of the other notable changes is the Typhoon during its um, buildup. It does not have that slow, like, mini vortex pull into it anymore, but it does just have some dot damage. Um, wanted to make sure you felt something when you're in that, you know, you're in a building storm, you want to know there's some effect, but the, uh, the pull there was questionable strength because it was like a vortex, not a slow, it was hard to feel, hard to map, and it potentially contributing to him having just a little bit too much CC on the kit. Um, and there was quite a bit of effort that went into making sure that storm kata flows really smoothly and works like what people are used to to make for easy in-hand canceling on both PC and console. Um, the storm kata has the feature where if you cancel the ability early, don't use the, the second um, second or third hit, it will have shorter cooldown. Um, so it only has a full normal cooldown if you use the full set of the ability. So if you don't need to just like get out of there early, you won't be punished for that. Um, I think that's, I mean, most of it is uh, smite one, so. Yeah, I, again, very similar. 
Susano has just a lot of things in his kit, lots of CC mobility control. We want to really just encourage that extra um, reward for doing the thing that he's really good at, which is that in-hand weaving in between each of his uses that really puts him as a very high damage assassin when he's able to do that in-hand weaving. Yeah, he's looking sick too. I'm loving the effects yeah. and all of his abilities. Yeah, his his effects look really great. I will say that we're still in the middle of a little bit of like a clarity pass adjustment for a lot of gods, um, including ones that have already shipped and ones in progress. So there might be some further changes to this ability, um, to these abilities uh, for the visuals over time. Um, but Susano is one of the newer gods, so our newer principles, lessons learned, are being applied here. So I'll, um, you know, yeah. constantly working on. Uh, the clarity there and in this map the bloom is turned up a little bit high so that's why you can see sometimes the sparks on his on his things are a little bit intense that's stuff that is known about the the bloom being off on some of the maps that we play on so it's essentially a lighting effect of this yeah. map alone so it might look a little bit different here on conquest too yeah cool thanks pawn good, All right. good note well aries is up next my God boy of war. Okay, let's talk about Ares. again because i can't switch class to him without breaking okay, <laughs> okay. so we have to go back to patch right, notes we'll do the pull, little, up, pull us up production um patch notes will do the little intro for aries while pon pon switches there we go 